I'm Melanie Smith. I'm a principal with Melendres. We're the, one of the lead design firms on the My Figueroa project, the Figueroa Corridor Streetscape project. It's a Trump 1C funded um, project, and it, so we have dollars to plan the streetscape project and to implement. Um, the catch with Prop 1C funding is that we have to implement by the end of 2014. The project area is shown here on the project area map. It includes Figueroa from 7th all the way down, um, actually below, a little bit below Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard to 41st. MLK from um, Vermont to Figueroa and 11th Street um, in downtown from Broadway to Fig. Um, and so we're just, we're really trying to position the project within the context that it sits within. A lot of um, destinations and um, and facilities and institutions along the corridor, but it's also got a parallel to a transit corridor with the Expo line, um, connects into a major transit portal at the northern end of the project, and it's going to be part of a network of bike facilities that LADOT is developing right now, um, so it's one of those. We can talk more about the specific elements of the corridor project as we move through the board session. So it's a, it's a project that's about um, really re-envisioning the corridor. Part of that is the streetscape component of the project. Part of that is the part of the street that's within the curves. So on the back of the sidewalks, we are looking at the landscape palette for the project, trying to respect the kind of rules that are already in place for the corridor. Um, north of the 10, basically, um, we're looking at uh, uh, London plane trees, magnolias that are in the USC area, the Chinese elms that are at Expo Park. On 11th Street, we get a chance to do more planting um, in widened sidewalks that we're proposing on 11th. And um, so we have a chance to do trees and, and planting below them in planter areas as well. Uh, in terms of signage and wayfinding, um, that's another really important component. We think that the city's done a really great job of developing signage for people in cars. We're focusing on people on sidewalks. So we're looking at pedestrian scale signage, which would probably be placed at transit stops, the transit platforms that we're proposing. And so district maps that show you where you are in the larger Figueroa corridor and how long it would take to walk somewhere from where you are. Um, also, a banner program should really roll out kind of a new and improved look and feel and focusing on the multi-level aspects of the project. The um, signage on the shelters, bus shelters themselves, to tell you where you are again in the corridor. And the potential for monument signs that really talk about the individual character um, and the individual character of different components of the district. Other streetscape um, elements that we've talked about include the bus platforms um, that really are a part of that whole separated cycle lane facility. So where you've got the bike on the curb, and you've got transit boarding out to the bike. You, we have the opportunity to do bus shelters, which we don't always see in LA. Um, so we picked one of the custom designs that are available through the street furniture program. We hope to be incorporating public art as part of the shelter program, implementing the continental crosswalks that we're starting to see appear all over downtown, um, and that are really an international standard for pedestrian friendly crosswalks, improving curb ramps, adding bike ramps. In terms of street lighting, um, we think that's a really important component of the project, to light up the sidewalks for people. That's one of the goals of the project. We have a mixture of lighting already in the corridor, so we're hoping to you know, standardize, keep the historic fixtures where they are, do um, historic style head lighting, pedestrian scale lighting where that's appropriate with the historic fixtures. Where we need roadway lighting, we're hoping to go to a newer, more modern um, LED fixture and a modern LED fixture for a pedestrian scale light too. So as I said, we've, we've been on a kind of a long journey with the project. We started in 2010. We've been trying to engage both the community stakeholders as well as the city the agencies like Metro, um, other agencies that would have a say in um, and, a, and the thoughts about how we implement the project. So we've done two rounds of public outreach already. And um, this was our, our third public meeting that we, that we had tonight at our city hospital. We're, you know, we're, two, we're really three quarters of the way across our, our project process diagram, um, where the red line kind of intersects. So we're trying to document the design and get public input sort of at the same time because we've got to meet this very aggressive schedule for the grant funding at the end of 2014. And it's really critical that we stay with that schedule um, or risk losing the funding. We've had great support, great input 
from the beginning of the project to the second round of workshops. We really had participation built. We saw that tonight. It was an even bigger group of people that came out. We got overwhelming support from the public for the ideas we had about transforming the corridor, about separated cycle lanes, and, um, and, and that's the feedback that we've gotten so far.